Good evening once again to all our viewers. Welcome to Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year. I'm Mary McAllister, your host for tonight. I would like to present to you our exhibitors who will be with us throughout this event. You may also visit Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year Special website to know more about the councils and exhibitors who will join us on this event. All right, let's get started. To formally start the fifth day of this event, it is my honor to introduce to you the director of Japan Foundation Manila, Mr. Ben Suzuki, to give us a short message. Magandang gabi po, Luzon, Bisaya, Danao, and the rest of the world. I hope you enjoy the first four days of Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year. Ako si Ben Suzuki, Director of Japan Foundation Manila, and I welcome you to the fifth day of Japan Fiesta. Thank you very much for your continued interest in Japan. The Japan Foundation Manila was established with the goal of cultivating friendship between Japan and the Philippines through art and culture exchange, Japanese art education, and Japanese studies and intellectual exchange. If you want to learn more about Japanese culture and other information on exploring Japan, Japan Fiesta is the ideal venue for all of you. This year is a different approach from the last Japan Fiesta, but our hope and passion has never changed. We welcome you all virtually and we extend our reach of viewers throughout the Philippines. We prepared a number of things for you from our special guests and performers. So let's chill out and enjoy the rest of the night. Maraming salamat po. Arigatouzaimashita. Thank you for the warm greetings, Mr. Ben Suzuki. Once again, welcome to the fifth day of Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year virtual event. Here's what you're going to look forward for tonight. Let us explore more of Japan with Kyushu Tourism Promotion Organization and Okinawa Convention and Visitors Bureau as they highlight different destinations in Japan and Discovery Japan Photo Wedding to give us information about the traditional wedding in Japan. We will also be featuring accredited agencies in the Philippines that process Japan visas so you'll know where you can get your visa on your next Japan trip. We also invited Jetstar to give us important details and guidelines on traveling with them, and our exhibitor, Ajinomoto, to introduce about their new product. We will be having special guests as well. We invited one of the most famous male gymnasts, Carlos Yulo, a Filipina Japanese karateka, Junna Tsuki, and multimedia art performer, Enra. And of course, you can be one of the lucky winners who will win either 500 pesos or 200 pesos worth of Gcash on our Guess the Word keyword campaign for today. Or you can have a chance to receive a special Japanese novelties from us by joining our survey campaign. So keep on watching as we bring all these to everyone. Okay, before we proceed to the next program, let us take a short break and play a game. Who wants to win either 500 pesos or 200 pesos worth of Gcash from us? Well, this game is called Guess the Keyword Campaign. If you want to join, all you have to do is to watch this live event from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Wait for the keyword we will be showing you on the screen. Each day, we will prepare a special keyword and you need to collect the letters that we will be flashing on your screen throughout the one-hour live event. Every after event, you can form a keyword that you need to type in on the comment section of our Facebook Live event with the hashtag JapanFiesta2021. The first 20 people will comment the correct keyword together with the hashtag JapanFiesta2021 will win either 500 pesos 
or 200 pesos worth of GCash each day. So stay with us the whole week to increase your chances of winning. Just take note that you can comment your answer once per day only. Multiple comments or entries will automatically be disqualified. Also, we advise you to share this live event with your friends, family, and relatives so they can also win on our games. Let's now start this game. Flashed on your screen are the first letters of our keyword for tonight. Be sure to write it down and to keep collecting more letters until the end of the event so you can win. But wait, there's more! You can also win a special prize from us when you join the survey campaign. All you need to do is to wait for the special QR code that we will be showing on the screen every day. Scan the QR code and complete the survey. On this survey campaign, 300 lucky winners will be chosen until the end of this week-long event. Just like the other one, you can only make one entry per day only on this campaign. Winning is very simple for everyone because all you have to do is to keep watching us and you'll already have a chance to win. So keep on tuning in with us for more chances of winning. And to move on with our next program, let us all watch this PR video from Kyushu Tourism Promotion Organization as they highlight different places we can visit soon in Japan. Konnichiwa, Kyushu Kanko Suishin Kyo Kaida Yuchi Suishin Dex. Mazu saishu ni korona no eikyo de Filipin ni nasu ni mokare mashi de wa Maiju ni seikatsu ga daihen na koto to moi masu ga Ikko kumu hayai 収束を記念しております。さて、本日はフィリピンの皆様に九州とその旅の魅力について九州は南西部に位置し、大きさ的には3番目の島です。え、九州は火山と人々の生活が隣接する世界でも珍しい島で、温暖な気候と自然が作り出す雄大な景観がそこにあります。第一に恵みに感謝し、知恵と情熱によ
美しい島九州、見ていただきました。ありがとうございます。いかがでしたでしょうかコロナが落ち着いた頃には、皆様にぜひとも九州にお越しいただき、九州での旅を楽しんでいただきたいと思います。その折には、九州にて皆様にお目にかかるのを楽しみにしております。本日はどうもありがとうございました。Thank you so much, Kyushu Tourism Promotion Organization, for sharing this video with us. And now, to explore more of Japan, we bring you another local tourism organization from Japan. Let us all watch this video from Okinawa Convention and Visitors Bureau for another adventure to experience. Mabuhai! Welcome to the oasis of Japan, Okinawa! Have you ever heard of Okinawa? Do you know where Okinawa is? The magical islands of Okinawa are located in the most southwestern region of Japan. Did you know that Okinawa is the closest Japanese prefecture to the Philippines? Okinawa is Japan's top domestic travel destination as it is the only prefecture in Japan with a subtropical climate which is perfect for all year round travel and has a very unique culture and history compared to the rest of Japan. You may be thinking, why is Okinawa so different compared to mainland Japan? Okinawa used to be its own independent kingdom called the Ryukyu Kingdom. In those days, Okinawa was used as a trading port with nearby countries like Japan, China, Korea, and even countries in Southeast Asia, including the Philippines. That is why our culture here in Okinawa is completely different to that in mainland Japan. If you have a chance to visit Okinawa, please visit one of our cultural parks, like here, Yuku Mura Village, where you can experience the old and traditional housing in Okinawa as well as the traditional dress like Yuso. Not to mention, Okinawa is a foodie's paradise with a wide range of Okinawa cuisine available that is cooked fresh with local ingredients that Japanese love. Not to mention, we also have a wide range of Japanese foods that you love too. As well as Japanese foods and Okinawan cuisine, we have a large range of desserts available here in Okinawa that we know that those with a sweet tooth would love. Many of you have heard of or been to big cities in Japan like Tokyo or Osaka. But Okinawa is a very unique destination in Japan that you must visit. I myself, as an Australian, fell in love with Okinawa not only because of the uniqueness, but also the warm and kind hospitality of Uchinantu, meaning Okinawa people in Okinawa dialect, and I've called Okinawa my home for four years. We hope that you can feel the charm of Okinawa through the video that we have prepared for you. Enjoy! Enjoy!
Although it's very difficult for us to travel during this time, all of us in Okinawa send our love and well wishes to everyone in the Philippines. We look forward to seeing you again when it's safe to travel. Matchai ding dong! See you soon! Thank you so much, Okinawa Convention and Visitors Bureau, for this video. We can't wait to visit Kyushu and Okinawa, Japan soon, especially once this pandemic is already over. And to move on with our next program, let me introduce our first special guest for this evening. She's a Filipino-Japanese karateka. In 2019, she won the gold medal in the Women's Kumite 50 kg event at the 2019 Southeast Asian Games as a member of Philippine national team. We think that you've already seen Miss Junna's video doing karate on TV, or you may check it on YouTube. That's why tonight, we will show you a different side of her. Check out this video as she took off her karate uniform and take us to the kitchen to teach us how to prepare an athlete food that you can try at home with all the ingredients available in the Philippines. Hi po, ako si Junatsuki, karate player po. Today, I'm going to introduce my power dishes. First, I make still fried vegetable with chicken breast. You will need carrot, paprika, broccoli, cabbage, mushroom, and chicken breast. We athletes need nutrition for heart training. The nutrition makes a healthy body and makes energy to move. So, food is really important things for us. But since I'm especially tired after training, so I would like to cook a meal that is easy to make, yet with beneficial nutrients. Well, let's cooking! First, I would just start with cutting vegetables. Since carrot skin has a lot of nutrients, I wash it thoroughly and eat it, and cut the other vegetables in small bite sizes. And next, I will fry the ingredients.
Now I put Ginisa. This is Ajinomoto magic powder. Don't worry, everything will be delicious with this powder. And next, I made soup with leftover vegetables. When the vegetables are tender, add the eggs. Finally, put the two chicken stocks. If taste is a light, you can put salt a little. Okay, ready to eat. <laughs> this completes today's dinner. I spent only 20 minutes to cook. It's Madeline Diba. Finally, there is something I need to tell you. It's Baliktar. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. See you. Thank you for sharing your recipe with us, Miss Jun Natsuki. That was so easy to make. I'm sure our viewers, most especially her follow fellow athletes, will try to make their own at their homes as well. For our next special guest for tonight, He's a Filipino gymnast who became the first male athlete in Southeast Asia to win a gold medal at World Artistic Gymnastic Championship in 2019. When he won for the men's floor exercise, his debut appearance at the 2019 Southeast Asian Games also earned two gold and five silver medals. He has been training in Japan since he was 16 years old with his coach, Mr. Kugi Mia. Let us all welcome Mr. Carlos Yulo. Carlos Yulo, a phenomenal athlete, creating waves in the world of gymnastics and the pride of all Filipinos. Carlos has been living and training in Japan for several years, preparing for upcoming competitions with his Japanese coach. But how did it affect him being away from his own family? I felt homesick. Mm. Wanted to go home, but I uh, just every day doing like training and school gets me like more focused. Uh, it's like it feels like 
but I'm home still but not with them three years I I am lost don't know what to do and lost my target as well that made me feel sad and That, that situation made me feel hard. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> this is all I know. Gymnastics. And for my um, target, for our target, for my family, and who's supporting me. I made that as a Motivation. So, like, I could continue my trainings and hard works. I wanted to uh, learn more and excited about what what's coming and to try uh, like try what I can the training like it's fun yeah. more than anything else right now yeah. I didn't expect anything yeah. it's not about the medal it's about like my my experience there yeah. that feeling will be forever in my What do you want? Well, I want... Gosh. First of all, I want healthy... Healthy body so I can train a mm. lot. And... Be safe. Mm. And... Let them... Mm. I just want to say that... Always praying for the people in the buildings all over the world as well. And I, I'm, I'm praying for their good health and safetyness every day. I wish that they, they are okay. All of them, my family, my friends. Please, everyone, um, I'm praying like, for their own good as well. Um, through my hard work, I want, like, I want them to, I want to see this, that smile on their face. So, I want to do my best. Thankful for them. For what you? Hi. My connect. So thankful for them for helping us. I'm not only the one who is fighting here. All of us as a team. And I want to thank them a lot. Especially Mom, Cynthia, Karen, Gab, PSC, our team. To bed, special and freshman, <laughs> and my father. Please continue supporting us. Um, we're gonna do our best to get some results. Thank you. He was indeed a Filipino pride. Thank you, Mr. Carlos Yulo, for being with us today. All right, any guesses on our keyword for tonight? Here's another set of letters to collect so you can complete the keyword. Q, 
Keep on watching us as we give you later the final letters to complete the keyword of the day and win either 500 pesos or 200 pesos worth of Gcash for tonight. Stay tuned then! And now, who's excited to go to Japan? Well, tonight, we bring you one of the most popular airlines in the Philippines. Let us all watch the video PR video from Jetstar as they give us important details in traveling with them soon on your next trip. Thank you so much, Jetstar. Hopefully we could travel to Japan with your airline soon, especially when this pandemic is over. We will now proceed to our next program. Tonight, we will be featuring some accredited agencies where you can process your Japan visa. Let us all watch this PR video. Hi, I'm Angel. And I'm Marie. We are from Attic Tours. As of January 1, 2021, for those who have a resident status in Japan and for those who have acceptable reason to go to Japan, the Japan Embassy is accepting the application. For the visa application process, seven travel agencies accredited by the Japan Embassy of the Philippines, Universal Holiday Inc., Discovery Tour, Attic Tours, Friendship Tours, Baja Travel Corporation, Meli Tours and Travel Agency, and Pacific Travel Corporation. So that assists you on visa application. Those information are updated, so please contact the nearest agency near you for those information. Now, we would like to introduce the charm and beauty of Japan from each travel agency. Hokkaido is the northern part of Japan and can be divided into four areas. Central Hokkaido, Southern Hokkaido, Eastern Hokkaido, and Northern Hokkaido. 
there are many attractive spots such as Blue Band, Lavender Field, Asahiya Mazu, Night View of Hakodate, Boryokaku, Shiretoko, a World Heritage Site, Shopping in Sapporo, and Best Place to Winter Snow Experience. And also, there are various delicious foods such as seafoods, chocolates, cheesecake, ramen, and many more. How about making it your next destination? We are from Discovery Tour Incorporated, a place to define the soul of Japan. Tohoku, the northeast region, consists of six enchanting, captivating prefectures to explore. Aori, Akita, Iwate, Yamagata, Miyagi, Kushima. Tohoku has a lot of interesting attractions to offer. There are also unique dishes to choose from. Together, we, we discover Tohoku. We are accepting Japanese visa applications. We hope to serve you to go to Japan soon. The large metropolises of Tokyo and Yokohama are located in Kanto region, which consists of seven prefectures. Amusement parks such as Sanrio Pureland and Disneyland and Sea are most famous, but there are many attractive spots such as Hot Spring in Hakone, Satsu. There are also nature such as Nemophalia flowers and World Heritage Site in Nikko. For food, there are many delicious restaurants nationwide in Kanto. You can try the representative foods in Japan such as ramen, steakhouse, and tempura shops. The Chiba region is the mountainous summit of Japan, best place for hikers and well known for iconic Mount Fuji. It consists of nine prefectures and located in the center of Japan. There are many attractive spots such as hot springs in Izu, Kero, and Wakura. Snow experience in winter Karuizawa and Hakuba will be nice spot. For nature lovers, Kanazawa and World Heritage Sites of Mount Fuji, Shirakawa Go, and Gokayama is the best place to go. Also, there are many delicious foods such as crabs and fish from the Sea of Japan, Hida beef, eel, Nagoya food, fruits, and many more. Let me introduce Kinki, Shiroku, and Shikoku region. The Kinki region, also known as Kansai including Osaka, this consists of seven prefectures, from Kyoto Temple to Osaka Street Food Area. Kinki region is Japan's famous cultural epicenter to represent the culture of Japan. Following the Kinki region is Chugoku region, mixed up the western part of Japan's main island, Honshu. We recommend the Chugoku region for seafood lovers and for those who love a modernized sound and amazing views. Lastly, Shikoku is Japan's fourth largest island. True to its name, Shikoku divided into four prefectures. It is famous for special pilgrimage featuring 88 temples. Hi, Konnichiwa! I'm Harumi and I'm Yumi, and we are from Friendship Tours. Here are some must visit places and local foods to try in Kyushu and Okinawa. Kawachi Garden and the Zaipu Shrine Hakata Ramen Karatsu Castle Yotoko Nare Shrine Saga Beef Nagasaki Peace Park Houston Boss Jambon Hell Jigoku Lake Kinrin Toriten Takachihu Gorg Aoshima Miyazaki Beef Mount Sakurajima Sengan End Satsuma Age Kumamoto Castle Zuizenji Garden Basashi Churaumi Aquarium Kokusai Dori Street Champuru There are more places to visit in Kyushu and Okinawa and foods too So come and visit Kyushu and Okinawa We are now accepting Japanese visa application We hope to serve you to go to Japan soon Thank you so much for that video now we know where to process our Japan visa on our Japan trip soon, once this pandemic is already over. And 
now for us to experience the traditional wedding culture in Japan using kumono while feeling the four seasons of Japan, let us all watch this video. Discovery Japan for the wedding. Hello everyone, this is Discovery Japan for the wedding. Discovery Japan for the wedding supports foreigners who wish to have a wedding or for the wedding in Japan. Last year, we had a chance to meet you in the Philippines. But this year, we're so sorry because we can only meet you through the internet. How have you been? There are four seasons in Japan where you can see the beautiful scenery of cherry blossoms, autumn leaves, and winter snow. We would like to invite the Filipinos to take wedding photos while wearing kimono, the traditional costume which is a highlight part of Japanese culture. Besides, we would like to introduce Japanese weddings to you. We are looking forward to meeting you with smile in Japan, especially the snowy Karuizawa in Nagano Prefecture, the hot springs in Kyushu, and Yuhuin. Thank you very much. Discovery Japan for the wedding. Wow, that was a really nice experience. Thank you so much for sharing this video with us. Up next is one of the most popular Japanese food companies in the Philippines named Ajinomoto. I'm sure everyone is already familiar with them. Their company is popular with different products such as Aji Ginisa Mix, Ajinomoto Umami Seasoning, crispy fry, and so much more. 
And today, we will introduce to you to another product that you can use in your daily lives, which is Ajinomoto's Amino Vital. Let's get to know more about this product. Amino Vital is a ready-to-eat sports amino acid jelly, which helps you enjoy sports until the end of the competition without muscle soreness because of high BCAAs content and just right energy in one pouch. Functional benefit: reducing muscle breakdown from BCAAs 1,700 milligram. Total amino acid 3,000 milligram. Energy booster at 110 calorie per bag. Best time to drink. 30 minutes before exercising, during exercise, or drink immediately after exercising. Amino Vital really is a beneficial product we all must try. We hope everyone would try this product, especially those who are into sports and exercising. Thank you very much, Ajinomoto, for sharing this healthy product with us tonight. Who's excited to complete the keyword for tonight? Here's the final set of the letters you've all been waiting for. Type in now on the comment section below the keyword that you formed out of those letters we flashed on your screen a while ago together with the hashtag JapanFiesta2021 and be one of the lucky winners who will win either 500 pesos or 200 pesos worth of Gcash for tonight. Be sure to like our official page visit Japan, Philippines for the announcement of winners later after the event. If you want to win more exciting prizes on this event, join now on our survey campaign. All you have to do is to keep watching the Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year virtual event from January 18 to 24, 2021 from 9 to 10 p.m. and wait for the QR code that will be showing on your screen every day. Scan the QR code and complete the survey. Note that one entry per person per day only. Japan Fiesta Executive Committee will randomly choose 300 lucky winners to win special Japanese novelties from the list of people who answered the survey. Scan now the QR code flashed on your screen tonight and be sure to complete answering the survey to win. Alright, there we have it. Tonight's show has been great. We would like to thank everyone for tuning in with us tonight. We would like to give our thanks to our organizers, to all who've been part of this event. Stay tuned on our official Facebook page, Visit Japan Philippines, to know the winners for today's Guess the Keyword campaign. Congratulations to all the winners! If you missed watching this event, you may watch the replay on Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year official YouTube channel and visit Japan Philippines Facebook page. Be sure to watch us again tomorrow from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. for more chances of winning. Learn more about Japan and witness great performances again from our special guests. Once again, I'm Mary McAllister and we hope to see you all again tomorrow for another fun and exciting night with Japan Fiesta 2021 New Year virtual event. Stay safe and have a great night, everyone.